Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Lumio Station. Hey, what's up, Lumio Station? Zephyr Sonic here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Platinum. And so last week in the last episode, we took on our rival Barry again, and then we went on Route 209, and now we're getting ready to explore what we can here in the Lost Tower. So let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, take on this trainer. Wah, ghost, get awake, E, help me, team. Yeah, I'm no ghost. Or am I? I'm the ghost of Christmas past, in March. All right, so he's just got a moth theme, or moth him. Shouldn't be that difficult to take out. So yeah, pretty easy. So team, help you, you only had one. Alright, Luxio gains a level. Who wants to learn the move Swagger? Luxio got Swagger. But we're not going to learn it. We've already got a good array of moves right now. And I have no use for Swagger at the moment. Barboic. Let's switch into Staravia. Now, we won't be able to explore the deepest parts of Lost Tower because I need the Defog HM, but we will not be getting that until a little bit later. So for now, we are just exploring what we can. Barboic looks like a piece of, of, of just shrimp, really. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's, it's really short looking and... It, it doesn't even have it, it. I don't. I just. It looks like a shrimp. Okay, make it forget. Oh, okay, aerial ace. Um. Ooh. Hmm. Well, see, the aerial ace base power, if I'm not mistaken, is 60. Correct? Yeah. Wing attack is 60 as well. Only thing is, Aerial Ace never misses. Um... Ah... Uh, no, I'm not gonna learn it. I wanna keep Endeavor in the event that I I, I really wanna, like, for now. I mean, I may eventually forget it. I forget uh, Endeavor, but for now, I really wanna have it just in the event that my health is really low and their health is high and I can get them down really low with Endeavor. Same HP as me. Okay, Shout Hot. And go back into Luxio. I just can't wait until my Luxio falls into Lux Ray. It's one of my favorites. But my all time favorite Pokemon is Samurott. Ah, poor Chaltot. Looks like he's having the time of his life. He's got his eye half open, and now he's going a down. Well, I guess he's not the life of the party. Hey, you're no ghost. I told you I wasn't the ghost. I told you I was the ghost of Christmas past in March. Oh, wait. Wait, bat. I was gonna say, get that Pokeball. And right before I can turn around, this Ghastly shows up. Now, I'd really contemplate uh, getting one, but... I'd have to trade Honor away in order to get it to evolve into Gengar, so... All right, get an oval stone. All right, go up the stairs. And as you can see, well, we don't have the fog, but we can still see. So we will battle. My Pokémon were taken from me. Team Galactic did it. Ever since, I've never forgotten their forgiven their faces. Well, who could forget Team Galactic? And Ru Roughneck, he looks like someone that would just, that would do stuff to you, if you weren't careful. Alright, now the bad thing is about the whole Defog is that, well if, I, well, if I'm not mistaken, doesn't it decrease accuracy? Well, I know the move does, but I think here in this fog, I think it decreases the accuracy 
of all moves, so Aerial Ace would have really come in handy right here. Because Aerial Ace never misses, but we got through that. That's all you can say. You know you're a rough neck, redneck, whenever you're a rough neck. <laughs> so you get a revive. Battle you, I can't explain it. Being here compels me to battle. So you're basically saying that you're just being forced to battle. You're not being forced... Okay, I'm, I, I am sorry, but that kid should have been more on his back. That sprite did not have the kid on his back right. That looked so messed up, I am sorry. That looked so messed up. And yes, yeah, so you see there we missed... And Tail Whip misses as well. Alright, there we go. And there goes Pichu. Right, so the fog is deep. That is in Pikachu. Okay. Want to try to go for a one-hitter? Now, this would otherwise be a bad decision because, well, of course, electric super effective to water... But if we can land the attack... Ooh, that was that was pretty cute. How Pikachu came out of its poke ball. Okay, let's see. Okay, quick attack. And it missed. So if we can just... Aw, oh, we missed. So, yeah, that is the problem. Sorry about that. I had a hiccup. But that's the problem. And now it's just going to get even more difficult. Because double team will really aid you here in this fog. Because it will give you a, a, an increased advantage. Because not only will you have an accuracy advantage because the accuracy is already cut for both members but you're making it more difficult for the other pokemon in this case me and now he's t-waving me okay come on print plup ah okay slam ah Well, this battle could be going on for a while. Okay, come on, Prinplup. There we go. Now, if it can just one hit it, that would be lovely. Yes! There we go. Woohoo! There we go. Alright then, Pichu! We will definitely have to switch out of here. And go with Luxio. I'd rather Pichu deal or uh Luxio deal with Pichu than Pikachu. Because Pichus really don't have any defense. Neither does Pikachu, but Pikachu does have a bit more defense than Pichu. But all I need is one bite on a Pichu, and there you go down. But I got staticked. My P I got. Paralyzed by Pichu's ability. I kind of saw that coming, but I was hoping it wouldn't kick in. Huh? What was I just doing? Well, I don't know. That picture explains it. Your sprite explains it. Alright, so let's see. Before we continue, let us go ahead and... So we got a yeah, we got two para paralyzed heals. Let's get rid of that. And get rid of that. Let's go ahead and get a get a heal on pr a print plup. Well, I can't remember if you can go through the the whole of Lost Tower without the HM to fog, but you can definitely see. I need to shake off my sorrow. Please battle with me. Because, I mean, it's been a long time since I played Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. And I couldn't remember if you if you really needed to fog because I knew that you could see. You could see throughout the rest of the cave. But I wasn't sure if there was an area where you just couldn't go on unless you had the HM to fog. But so far, we are getting through it just fine. Alright, block, I'm not worried about not being able to escape.
All right, almost there. Okay, the berry. Oh, and the mimic. So, so he's he's gonna learn spark, but barely do any. Oh, there you go, missed. I should consider biting it because I've only got three spark power points left. And he missed. Too bad you couldn't couldn't use your new move. Oh, super potion. Okay. Okay. And and you're missing. You can't even throw a simple rock at me. And you, you can't even kick me. I've learned the mastery of dodge, and now I'm just hitting you. So there goes Bonsley. My sorrow has deepened. Aw, you don't have to be so sad. Why are you sad? Yeah, Pokemon she's apparently had to say goodbye to. And we got a double battle here. It makes no difference where we are. If you have Pokemon with you, I reckon you ought to battle. A Pokemon is a lively one. Let me show you how much. But what if someone only has a Pokemon as a pet? What then? Are they gonna battle? Because not all Pokemon are gonna be battlers. But lucky for you, my Pokemon are battlers. Alright, so just a simple bite on one of the Ponytaws. Uh, I'm gonna conserve my Sparks. And then go for the other one. <clears throat> Alright, see how much damage? Okay, fair amount. The stomping. And pff, there you go. I was hoping it wouldn't, I wouldn't get flinched, and that's exactly what happened. And we missed. Unfortunately, they missed too. Okay, but the flame wheel goes off. All right, yes, got the bubble beam off this time. Should result in a one-hit KO, yes. All right, gonna bite again. And this time, just a rock smash. And yeah, Flame will miss, and oh, we missed too. No, oh, we missed. The stomp gets off. Ooh, critical hit. We barely survived that, but the rock smash should. There you go. KO Ponyta. Woohoo, that was close. So, level to 29 for Luxio, and they're both the same levels now. You've got a lot of giddy up and going, you. Well, aren't you the lively one? Okay, let's go ahead and use Super Potion. See, now we've gotten to the points where we, we are going to start getting ready to eventually need Hyper Potions. Potions that heal more HP. I can't embarrass myself again, not in front of my girlfriend. I don't want to look bad again, not when my boyfriend is watching. Well, I defeated a couple like that in the last episode. And I'm going to defeat another one. Alright, Murkrow, Mischievous. Well, at least this will be a little bit more challenging than the last battle. With just two Ponytaws. Alright, bite Mischievous. And Bubble Beam Murkrow. Yeah, doing some severe damage to the two Mischievous. Okay, Nightshade. If I'm not mistaken, Nightshade also is a move. I think. I No, I, I don't think it can. I don't think it's a move that, that never misses. Alright, bite Mischievous one more time. Hopefully it hits, and then hopefully... Score them. Well, no. Let's go, Bubble Beam. Ah, ah, we missed. Now, Nightshade is annoying because it can deal damage equal to 
Ah, we missed again. Because it does equal to their uh, their HP, or no, their level, excuse me. So, since Murkrow's level 23, that means it does 23 points of damage. Or, wait. Yeah, it does equal to whatever their level is. Alright, I really... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna spark that annoying Murkrow. And then Super Potion Luxio. Hopefully I get the spark off. Okay, yes! There we go. Take out that annoying Murkrow! Should be one hit. Yes, there you go. I wasn't worry worried about that at all. Alright, so now we're both confused. But fortunately for us, all we need is one hit on Mr. Vist to take it out, so we've got roughly two chances, although, we, we again, we have the chance of missing. And this is my last bite power point. I'm just going to go for the Metal Claw on the events. Okay, Lexio hurt itself. All right, come on, Primplup, come on, come on, come on. Ah. Okay, come on, Luxio. Okay. Should be able to live another one unless it crits. Okay, bite and metal claw again. I'm gonna try this again. Come on. Ah! Okay, come on, Primplup. Come on. We really need you to pull through. Yeah! And fortunately, they missed. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal Luxio again. And the Metal Claw Mischievous. Now, come on, hit! Okay, we are missing right now. And, and the Mischievous is just waiting to be taken out. Like, take me out! Well, there you go! Oh, that was annoying, but we got through it. Alright, it's level 30 for Prenplup! Aw, oh, jeez, man, that's a downer. This makes me feel hollow inside. Oh, so hollow. Well. Yes, but you'll always be together. Always remember that. Even if you lose in a Pokemon battle, you will always be together. Alright, so we get TM27 return! So that'd be useful for a Pokemon that is very friendly to you. Alright, go up. And here we have reached the very top. Okay. I can't see. This fog obscures everything. I wish this fog could be blown away like the doubt in my heart. I can't see. This fog obscures everything. Excuse me, another hiccup. Or what kind of burp. Uh, so yeah, so we, we need to fog. But like I said, we won't get it until a little bit later on. So for now, we have to leave. And then come back up to the top when we have the HM to fog. We have all the battles and such taken care of, so... That is good for me. And let's get the annoying Zubat out of the way. Don't worry about Intimidate. Just run. Run like the wind. Okay, and, well, funny. Happened to me right when I get in the middle there. So yeah, we, we were pretty we were being pretty quiet and respectful outside of the commentary. So yeah, so that is the last lost tower again, as I stated. There's the couple I talked about last episode that we fought. And now up further north is Salation Town and It's Barry! Yahoo! 
Hey, Zephyr, I got something cool. I'll show you as a special favor. Huh? What the? What's this all about? I got some seals, but I forgot to put them on. Oh, right, it's because I was at the ruins. The ruins here are cool. You have to check it out. I even found a hidden machine. It was the fog. Anyway, I'll battle you another time. See ya. So, yes, yeah, so we will, like I said, we will be getting to fog pretty shortly. So this is Salation Town, free of worry. Let's go into the Pokemon Mart and kind of restock up on a little bit of items. Um... And get five super potions. And get five uh, paralysis heals. We got plenty of super repels, so we are good to go. And first of all, what are you selling? Okay. Five more net balls. And we'll get five dusk. Uh, actually, we'll get nine of them. All right. So we are good to go. Yeah, then let's go ahead and get a uh, heal. And so I have been taking into, cons into consideration the last question that I asked you guys about what I should evolve my Eevee into. It's kind of a little bit mixed at the moment, but I'm still deciding. I have not decided yet on what I will evolve my Eevee into. So keep letting me know in the comments below what you guys would like to see me at evolve my Eevee into. We didn't have much comment feedback in the last episode, so hopefully we get more this time. That helps my decisions when there are more comments. Even though you you, you would think it would be the opposite. I right, go in here. Oh, welcome. You saw the notice outside about us hiring, right? Is that a Pokédex there? Then you must know Professor Rowan. You're just the Pokemon searching expert we've been looking for. Drifloon, I want you to bring me one. You must bring it today or we're not going to be able to run our main article. I'll pay you with a hard scale and some Pokeballs for it. Well, I don't have one. Although I could have caught a Drift Blim and then evolved it. But, oh well. No, excuse me, Dr Drifloon. Wait. Yeah, yeah, Drifloon. Okay, so forget what I said. I could have just caught one and then brought it to you. Driftblim is the evolved form. Okay, so there's a Pokeball right there. Talk to some of the locals. Alright, so we get a Pokemon History Pokechit app. Shows the most recently obtained Pokemon. So, okay, it's pretty cool. I'm too little, so I don't know how to battle very good. The nice daycare lady is raising my Pokemon for me. Oh, well, that's good, but of course you could raise it yourself, and then that way... Well, your Pokemon will be stronger that way. So this is the daycare people. This is the daycare man. We look after the precious Pokemon of other trainers. If you'd like us to raise your Pokemon, have a word with my wife. Well, let's go in and uh, speak to her, though we're not going to leave a Pokemon for her. Ah, uh, no. They would, you'd think they'd give, they'd give us an egg or something. Yeah, that's not the only sort of bonding that goes on in uh, daycares. Okay. So in here, every so often, an egg will be found at the Pokemon daycare. And they're found without anyone knowing how they got there. It's an enduring mystery. Is someone leaving them there? Who knows? They say no one has ever seen a Pokemon actually laying an egg. So it hasn't been proven that Pokemon actually lay eggs. Well, if you want, really want to know, I guess you should get in between and just, well, just kind of look and see what goes on. And, well, just see what happens. But, of course, that's, um, that's getting, a, that's getting into a little too much there, so... Yeah, get away from that, um... Okay, go down here, like, so there are, there's a, well, first of all, there's a house here. And the Pokeball's on the other side, I gotta get it. I wanted to give you some seals, but you don't have a seal case. You should talk to my mom. Okay, so let's talk to her mom. You can customize Pokeballs by fixing seals on them. Oh, you don't have a seal case? Well, here you go. Alright, we get a seal case. Next, some seals. Here you go. And then, it explain how the seals work in a Pokemon Center PC. So yeah, you, you can pretty much customize your Pokeball 
Well, like, really, you could kind of put stickers and stuff on them. And then you can see the results when you use that Pokemon in battle. <laughs> this just takes me way back. To when I act to when I first played Diamond Pearl and Platinum. And even when I played it long ago. Or years ago when I, when I played it again. Okay, so we need to go dear dear. Okay, here we go. Um okay, yeah, here we go. I get an item and it's a PP up. Alright then. So now we're gonna go over over here. I think we have Yeah, when it's everywhere, so let's go ahead and make our way toward the cave. As for that Pokeball up there, I don't think I've ever figured out how to actually get up there and get that Pokeball. I can't remember if I've ever gotten that Pokeball before, but I've, I've, I've kind of always had a problem trying to get that pesky Pokeball. But uh, but anyways, we're going to go in the cave, and so I th and we're going to be in the Slation Ruins, but I think that's going to do it then, guys. So thank you all so much for watching, and hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, don't forget to Elemental Power Up Fire Ice Stun to punch that like button. It really, really helps a lot. So don't forget to be subscribed to this awesome channel full of other awesome directors. And don't forget to follow their Twitter account, the Lumio Station Twitter account. And also, if you guys would like to add... Add me on Twitter and follow my YouTube channel. All the available links that you guys need are available below in the description. So be sure to check that out. That way you guys, like I said, have all the links you need. The Twitter the for them and me and my channel. All that stuff. All you guys need. It's available in the description. So go check it out. Alright, you guys. Well, till next week, we're going to go to the Salation Ruins and look for that HMD fog. I'm Zephyr Sonic. Thank you all so much for watching. See you guys next week. Till then, I'm out.